So I have been with my beautiful husband for 20 years now, and he is the love of my life and a beautiful dad and a great partner, but for the first 18 years of our relationship, he said, supposedly. <laughs> and every time I picked him up on it, and I picked him up on it every time, because that is a charming trait to have as a wife, <laughs> he'd say, no, 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 I said, supposedly. But our son is finally old enough to pick him up on it as well, and under our two-pronged attack, He's crumbled and he's admitted he was saying supposedly all along. <laughs> Gaslit me for 18 years. <laughs> but now he's so paranoid about getting it wrong, this is what he says instead. It could be supposed. <laughs> and now I live with a fucking professor. <laughs> it's like every conversation is suddenly a philosophical discussion. What time is the tradie coming tomorrow? Eight o'clock, it could be supposed. <laughs> Ah, marvellous, we've got Schrodinger's plumber. <laughs> He's also quite cavalier about his use of the word too. Doesn't mind which one he gets, just uses them randomly. He spells lose with two O's. Hey, back off, he's fucking lovely. <laughs> but I keep saying to him, darling, it's really important to get it right because there's a big difference between I've got nothing to lose and I've got nothing to lose. Because <laughs> at my age, it just sounds like I'm showing off. I said that the other night, and the guy in the front row went, no, hang on, how many kids have you had? Oh. I know, I was like, oh, great. It's suddenly gone from a cute little word joke that I made to me discussing the state of my vagina <laughs> with a complete stranger. And I don't normally do that. And if I do, it costs $200, and it's quite hard to get an appointment. <laughs> Our son is at high school now. He's just turned Lynx Africa. I've never been to Africa, <laughs> and I've never sniffed a lynx, but I'm willing to bet that neither of them smell that chemical. <laughs> like, he'll put it on in the bedroom, and a couple of minutes later in the kitchen, the cats just start acting a bit weird. It's just... <laughs> My son's very good at making me feel old, but he is not as good as TikTok at making me feel old. I am on TikTok. Uh, if you are not on TikTok, you are leading full, rewarding lives. <laughs> My cats, uh, my two cats are doing quite well on TikTok, which is a, a real sentence. Uh, <laughs> so well, in fact, uh, I've been asked to be an ambassador for the Cat Protection Society. And I know that thrills me, and you're all going, well, that's a hoarding situation. Uh, it's not, although I did visit their facilities, and now we have three cats. Um, <laughs> And I don't know whether you know this, but two cats is two cats, and three cats is a fuckload of cats. <laughs> uh, we just have so many cats. Uh, and, and if you are a cat owner in the audience, is it possible for you to keep your cat off the bench? No, it's impossible. They're up there all the time. I hate it. But whenever we have someone over for dinner and one of them gets up there, I go, oh, well, he's never done that before. <laughs> We spent a long time choosing a name for the new cat. It was very difficult because my son insisted that it have an aquatic theme, like our other two cats, Pirate and Barnacle. He goes, what about Finn? I said, no, we can't call it Finn. I know a child called Finn. What about Anchovy? And he said, no, I know a child called Anchovy. <laughs> I said, I've raised you too well, my friend. Touché. So in the end, we decided she's so clingy and has such a powerful bite, we've called her Lynx Africa. Thanks so much, I've been Kelly Wilson. Good night.